Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're creating a pie in pie or a stack donut style chart inside a PowerPoint slideshow. Now I've got a PowerPoint slideshow already open here but I'm going to change the layout so I've got plenty of room for this. So I'm going to use a title and content slide to get even more room. I'm going to remove the title and just go for the content. Now the way PowerPoint works is a little bit differently in terms of charts and spreadsheets. You can't build a spreadsheet inside a PowerPoint slide, but you can build a chart. Not quite sure why it works that way, but it does. So what I'm going to do is build all of this inside PowerPoint, not inside Excel. So we're going to click here on Insert Chart and we're going to a pie chart and we're going to select a donut chart and click OK. Now this is going to give us a sort of data area. Now if you lose that at any stage, what you're going to do is click on your chart, right click and choose edit data and that will get it back again because it does occasionally disappear and you do want to be able to get it back. Now I don't want this data so I'm just going to select it, right click and choose delete. I want some of my own data. At this point I could go ahead and type the data into the worksheet here. To save time I'm actually going to copy and paste it from a worksheet that I already have open. So let's just paste it in here but just remembering that we could just as easily have typed this in the cells. These don't have formulas, I'm just typing in raw numbers here. So when we look at the chart that we're going to build, we've got inside numbers and outside numbers. And so what the inside numbers are, are the totals, the sort of grand totals. And then on the outside, we've got how those totals are made up. So in terms of our data here, this is the inside data and this is the outside data. So for products that were launched in 2020, we made 145,000 unit sales in 2023. And this was made up out of sliced bagels and sourdough balls. You can see this is the 2020 launch date. So if we total these two numbers together, we get this number. For 2021, we had for products that we launched in 2021, in 2023 we sold a thousand units and these are the units. They're multigrain bagels and rye loaves. And then for products that we launched in 2022, last year 2023, we sold 245,000 units and they were raisin bagels, high top loaves and high top slice. So these are products that we launched in that year and these cumulatively, these numbers total up to be this. So just make sure that you get your data right. Now the inside bit is this bit here. So we're going to click on our chart, we're going to select data and we're going to delete anything that's already here. So we're just going to remove that. We're going to add our own data. And what we want to do is ignore series names, go straight to series values and make sure you take everything out of series values. And just a heads up, if you're going to make a mistake, it's here that you're going to put things in the wrong place. So just be really careful that you're doing series values at this point. And we're going to grab the numbers that make up the inside of the chart. Click OK and just OK again. And this is what the inside of our chart is going to look like when we finesse it a bit. We don't need a legend, so I'm going to select it and delete it. We also don't need this to be quite so big. So what I'm going to do is select it, go to Format. I'm going across here to the top left corner and choose Plot Area. And I want to make that a bit smaller so I have room in a minute to have some headings sticking out from it. Now ultimately this is going to be a very small donut, something with a very small hole or no hole at all. So I'm going to right click it and choose Format Data Series. Now you should be operating on Data Series at this point because you have multiple elements selected here. If it says Format Data Point you've not got the right thing selected so just deselect everything and try again. This is your donut hole size so we're just going to reduce that if you don't want any hole at all, just close it down to zero. If you want a little bit of a donut hole, then you could adjust it something here. Okay, so we've got the middle of our chart. Let's go and get the outside. So again, with the chart selected, we're going back to chart design and we're going back to selecting our data and we want to add a second series. So let's click on that. Let's remove the entry for series values and we're going to add our own series values. Again, each time you have to make this dialogue big enough that you can see what you're talking about. Now values are just numbers so we're only going to grab these numbers here. Click OK and OK again. 
and now we've got our donut chart. So in terms of what it's going to look like ultimately, I like to make this a solid, say darker color and these two colors a lighter version or two lighter versions of this color. So I need three colors for this. I need three variations here, but I need four over here. So I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to click on just this element here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Format Data Point. Now you should be saying Format Data Point because we only want to change this one point. Going to Fill, at the moment it's a dark green. Let's go and see which of these colors is going to be able to be split into a whole variety of colors. So I'm thinking probably this purple will work. I'm going to do this as the middle color and these as the outside color. So there's my first purple. Now I'm going to select this little box here and go and choose the slightly lighter version of this purple and then we're going to do it lighter still and then very light for just this purple color. Now we're going to choose a different color for this. Again making sure that we've just got that data point selected. Let's go and make this the greens. I, this time I only need three greens. I need a middle one and then two outside ones. So I don't have to choose quite so dark a green if I don't want to. And this one's going to be the lightest of the three. And then down here I'm going to choose this slice here and I'm going to choose a different color for that. I think I'm going to choose these blues here. And then I'm going to choose a slightly different tone of that blue, tint of that blue, and then another one. So now we've got the colors applied to our chart. The middle of the donut is adjustable from this donut hole size and all we need next is the actual data to show what it is that we're saying here. So what I'm going to do is select over the middle of the chart. I'm going here to the plus sign and I want to add data labels. So I'm going to click on data labels, more options because that's going to give me the ability to select the kind of data labels I want. So let's go here to label options and we're going to open up label options. At the moment we're saying the value. So we're saying the values that we've plotted in here. What I want to see is the product launch date. So rather than turning value off, what I'm going to do is go and get the product launch date first and then turn value off. What I find is that if you turn everything off, it tends to go a bit haywire. So it's better to add too much and then turn it off. So here I'm selecting value from cells. I need to grab these three values, click OK. And so now we've got the year from here as well as the values. Well, I don't want values, so I'm going to turn them off. Now we can go to the home tab of the ribbon here and just adjust these pieces of text, make them much larger. Because I'm using quite dark colors, I'm going to use white as my color. Now I'm going to add my data or pointers to this data here. So again, I'm going to click here on data labels and again, I'm going to click on more options. And Again with my label options, this time I want to get value from cells again and what I want to do is to put the product names. So I'm just going to select those. So again we've got product names and values. I don't want the values, I can just turn those off. Again I can make things larger by just using the text formatting options on the home tab of the ribbon. I can change the text color, I can make it bold or whatever. Now I want to move these some of these out a little bit so I'm going to select on them individually. So now I've just clicked twice on sourdough ball and I'm able to select it and not everything else. So I want to make sure that it's got these little selections around it and just move it to where you want it to be. This one I want to be outside because it's a very small slice and you can see that it's getting the little data label pointers here. And the reason why it's getting pointers is because in the data labels area we actually asked for pointers. Sometimes you might have to drag them if you want pointers, you might have to drag them quite a ways away because they have to be far enough away to actually justify getting a pointer. So here it is, this is the leader lines, these are the little pointers. So this is all dynamic. If we were to change the underlying data, we would change the look of the chart. Again, you can get your data back by selecting your chart, right click, choose edit data and your little dialog box will come back 
and be visible. I'm just going to change a couple of figures. So given that this 145,000 is the sum of this figure and this figure, I'm going to subtract 25,000 from it. So I'm just going to make this 120,000. And then I'm going to take 25,000 off this. So you can see that the sourdough bull area has now decreased in size. Let's go and put this back together again. 50,000 and I'm going to take this back to 145,000 and the chart just realigns so it's dynamically connected to this data underneath. Just be aware that of course this 145 is made up of these two figures and this 100 is made up of these two figures and that gives us these very strong lines that are dividing off all the 2020 launches and the 2021 launches and the 2022 launches. But of course, if your data doesn't have that same connection between the things that are in the middle and the things that are on the outside, then you could conceivably change the outside data, but not the inside data. It really just depends on what it is that you're trying to show. And of course, all the colors that are in use in this chart are coming from the underlying PowerPoint presentation. So let's just go to the design. We could change the colors for this by just choosing a different color scheme and then the entire chart is going to take on a different look. So I hope this helps you be able to create these really fun pie and pie or donut stack donut type of charts inside your PowerPoint presentations. So of course this is all done inside PowerPoint so the chart's going to be saved with your PowerPoint presentation. You don't need to have access to Excel. Everything is controlled by PowerPoint. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.